the most common set of data that's available for prospectors and pretty much anyone, mining companies, whatever to use that's out there and published by the Department of Mines or DMPE here is the magnetics, aeromagnetics, ITP. P stands for reverse to pole. And it's available here under the geophysics column. And I've turned it on here. And so what we can see, the geophysics down here, oops, there it comes. It covers pretty much the whole state from north of Kimberley to south of, of Augusta, east to west, blah, blah, blah. And what you can see is that it is a complicated mass of colors, reds, purples, all the way through to dark blues. The colors are actually a spectrum of aeromagnetic values. Okay, just to fill you in on what aeromagnetics is. The values shown here are the magnetic values of the rocks that the instrument passed over. And so the more magnetic a rock is, in other words, the more iron it contains, then the higher it shows up on the, the magnetics. So ultramafic rocks, banded irons, etc., stand up as highs. Granites on the other end of the spectrum have low iron content, and they show up as blues.